What's up guys, Deathwish here again. I had something happen to me this weekend and it kind of inspired me to make this video. So what I want to talk about today is a perfect part. What is a perfect part? How you get a perfect part and the statistics behind a perfect part, all right? So let's start with what a perfect part is because having talked to a lot of people both in my alliance and just the game in general, all right? A lot of people have never even rolled a perfect part. Some people have, some people haven't. Some have rolled, you know, a few of them. Some have just rolled one or two of them, right? So it's kind of, it's completely random, and it's, it's, there's no rhyme or reason behind it, I guess is the best way to put it. So what is a perfect part? It's a blueprint that starts as either a silver, a silver plus, a gold, or a gold plus blueprint, and when you craft it, it turns into the next tier of part. Meaning, for example, let's say you have a gold, a standard gold blueprint, right? You make it, you craft the gold blueprint, and when you craft it, it turns into a perfect part, meaning it turns into a gold plus part, all right? And this can happen with any part. It's not you know, regulated to just certain parts. It can happen with any part at any time, and it is completely random. So here's what I want to do. I want to go over here to my units, all right? I want to go down here to my blueprints, and as you guys can see, all right, I have got quite a few gold plus blueprints. I've got a couple of standard gold blueprints, and I have one currently gold plus plus blueprint, right? So here's what I want to do. I want to, I'm just, for this example, I'm going to click on this first gold plus blueprint here, all right? When we click on it, Okay, we can go in and we can see the statistics, right? So let's look at the power here. So once I craft this, all right, in theory, I'm going to fall within the range of power between 761 and 1016. Now the goal is obviously to be as high within that range as possible. The higher, the better, meaning that I get better buffs and stats from this particular part, right? So 700, think of, view 761 is the lowest possible level, tier, whatever you want to call it, of the gold plus blueprints, and 1116 is the highest possible within that range that you can get for a standard gold blueprint, gold plus blueprint, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and click on our, our gold plus plus blueprint here, okay? So we click on this, same thing, let's, t let's go to the top here and let's look at the power. Our range is now between 1,185 and 1,693. Anything once we craft this between that range is a true gold plus plus, right? And we want it to be as close to the 1,691 as possible. It's going to give us the best stats and the best buffs possible for that specific part and unit, all right? So here, I want to go and show you guys a real-life example, all right? So here's something that happened to me. So we're going to go over here to my ground forces, all right? We're going to click on my medium tank, okay? We're going to go down here to the parts. And then I want you guys to take a look at my parts. And before you guys are like, oh, you know, you've got three gold plus plus parts. I do, but here's the thing. A couple, well, let me take that back. A couple of them, yes, a couple of them are were started out, they started out as gold plus blueprints, and they ended up as perfect parts and jumped to that next tier. So my gun and my service kit are both perfect parts. They started out as gold plus, and when I crafted them, they turned into perfect gold plus plus parts. My engine was a true gold plus plus blueprint to begin with. So we're going to click on my gun here and use this as our example. All right. It started out as a gold plus blueprint, and when I rolled it, it turned into a perfect part, which ultimately gave me the gold plus plus part. However, you can see here at the top that the power of this is only 1,185, and the reason for that is, and this is important to note, that when you craft a perfect part, it jumps to the lowest possible level of the next tier. So, let's go back over here as reference, okay? So that one, before we leave, you guys can see real quick, the power one more time is 1,185, right? We leave here, all right, let's jump back over to our blueprints. Let's click on our gold plus plus gun here. You guys can see our range is between 1,185 
and 1,693. So just keep in mind that when you guys roll a perfect part, it is going to be the lowest level of the next tier. Doesn't matter which tier it is, it's going to be the lowest level of that next tier. So it's still great because it is a gold plus plus part when it rolls perfect, or a gold plus part if you roll a perfect part on a gold blueprint, right? Whatever it is, it's still going to be a benefit to you because it's that next tier, that next level part, which is great. It's just not going to be as useful or as beneficial and give you the best buffs as a true gold plus plus blueprint. That's kind of a common misconception I've seen is people think that um, when you roll a perfect part, it could be the highest level of that next tier, and it, it's going to start out as that lowest level of the next tier. And I would like to give a little shout-out to my boy Josh because he is the one that originally kind of put the math together and put 2 plus 2 together here to figure this out. And as we've kind of gone, gone along here, we've seen that that is, in fact, the case. It is going to be the lowest level of that next tier. Hopefully this cleared a little bit of that perfect part confusion up for some of you guys. Like I said, I've talked to some who have never rolled a perfect part, some who have rolled a few of them, some who have rolled just one of them. But hopefully that kind of explains it to you guys and clears a little bit of it up. And uh, again, it's just completely random. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no way to predict it, no way to kind of alter if you're going to get one or more likely to get one. It's just completely random. So hopefully this video was, was useful to you, hopefully it helped, and hopefully that information kind of will guide you moving forward on what to expect when you roll a perfect part. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you on the next one.